Hello, Dr. Astor. We are making an introductory film about acute coronary syndrome. Yes, please. Tell me, how can I help you? Can you explain this condition, Dr. Astor? Well, in simpler terms, acute coronary syndrome happens when the blood supply to the heart is suddenly compromised or cut off. And uh, how is chest pain related to it? Most patients complain of chest discomfort and not chest pain. It is the cry of starving heart muscle. Usually, the seat of discomfort is behind the breastbone. We would also like to know that other than chest pain, what else can be the symptoms? Usually, it is accompanied by heavy sweating, sudden shortness of breath, feeling of vomiting, strange feeling in the neck and jaw, and sudden weakness. These may be present without chest discomfort also. So, uh, how do you find out that this is different than the usual chest pain? Well, the doctor will inquire about your symptoms past health and lifestyle and take a physical examination. He usually asks for an electrocardiogram commonly known as ECG which will give the doctor a clearer picture. He might recommend some blood tests to check for any rise in heart enzymes. So once it is diagnosed, how is it treated? If you are having unstable chest pains, you are usually asked to get admitted preferably in the ICCU. You will likely get medicines but depending on the heart conditions, you might also have to undergo angiogram and angioplasty. After the first line of treatment, the patient has to continue with medicines known as beta blockers, ACI inhibitors and antiplatelets to prevent easy clotting. He may prescribe medicines to control your cholesterol and blood pressure. <laughs>